One of the most useful skills you train on any account is construction, and setting up your POH to be the most efficient you possibly can can really help you throughout your grinds. Today I'm going to show you my POH and how I have it set up to be the most efficient I possibly can. I pretty much use it every day for whatever skill I'm training, whether it just be something simple like fishing or slayer, PVM, combat, whatever it might be. So let's just go ahead and start getting to my house. So I'm just going to use my max cape to go to the house, show you a couple of the settings that I have set up and I'll just get started. The first thing I always tell people is to go to your house options and make sure that your doors are on open all of the time. So I'll show you what I mean. So if I say doors are closed all the time and I leave and I go back into my house, it will just be very hard to get through everything having these doors closed. I have to actually open the door to enter the room. Just, just annoying. Okay, now we're going to take a deeper look at the actual house. This is in the viewer mode and it's really cool because you can actually customize and move rooms here which is a great update by the way so all these rooms at the side here they don't really have too much of a purpose i either use them for training construction or just for achievement diaries whatever i might have needed at the time the main focus is right here and this three by three section with two additional rooms again for achievement diaries updates stuff like that but the three by three is the efficient you could either have three by three four by four it doesn't really matter i personally really like the three by three if you want to go all in with your house make it maxed if whatever have as many rooms as you like but the three by three is all you really need so we're going to really start it off at the garden where you enter. Now when the garden, all it has is your portal and you can have some bushes or whatever in here, but I just use the portal. That's all that you need in here. Completely north, I have the achievement gallery. This has my occult altar, the ornite jewelry box, the cape hanger and the quest list. And then completely east to that, I have the menagerie, which doesn't really matter as much, but it's the farthest away from where I spawn in with the portal, which we'll talk about later. This is just restoring pets. Completely south to that, I have the portal nexus, which is something I use all of the time. So the, the three rooms that you use the most, you want here, here, and here. But yeah, the portal nexus I use all of the time for just teleporting around the game. It also has my mounted dig site pendant and my mounted Xerix talisman. And completely west, we have the superior garden, which has the uh, spirit tree and fairy ring. The, the best thing in the game, which is the Ornite jewelry pool. <laughs> what am i saying the ornite rejuvenation pool and uh yeah but other than that the rooms are up here we have the costume room which just has all the things that i store up here we have a workshop which is very useful at times down here we have the study which is good for making tablets down here we have a hall which is for the mythical cape and then we have a couple other rooms here the this is a hall which has my kq head which i didn't want to delete obviously and here we have an additional portal chamber which I don't really need anymore, but it's good to have. Now, this is for the really sweaty players. So the tile that you spawn in will be right here, depending on where your house and how everything looks. So wherever I am, I'll leave here, for example. I'll go to the crafting guild quickly. And no, whenever I come to my house, I will teleport on that exact tile. And this actually matters a lot for efficiency. So as you can see, when I come into here, we're always going to be on this tile right here. So I'm going to clear that right now. So, right when you spawn in, you want your Ornite pool to be right here. So when you come back from a Slayer task, all you have to do is sip the pool, and then either you got the teleport or wherever you need to go. I like it personally like this, because usually after a Slayer task or anything, I'll come sip the pool and then use my crafting cape to go right back to the house. So the room I probably use the most would be the northern one right here. So right when I spawn in, I can just get there very easily. Most of the time I sip the pool here to heal up or whatever. I need my energy back. And then from here, I could use my jewelry box to pretty much get anywhere in the game from a ring of dueling, combat bracelet, ring of wealth, glory, skills necklace, and games necklace. And you can have it set to where you went to last. And then also here I can change my spell book. So say I get a different type of task, maybe I need a burst, I can just quickly switch to the ancient spell book or whatever I might need. And then from there I can just go right to the bank with my crafting cape. If you don't have the crafting cape, like I said, you could use maybe like a farming cape, whatever cape will get you close to a bank. Even the fishing cape, you could use the bank there, but the crafting cape is the best to get to a bank. So yeah. Also, if I spawn in and I need to say I'm doing a clue scroll or something, I've got my spirit 
fairy ring tree right here <laughs> i don't know what you would call it spirit fairy tree so all you'd have to do here is um you can ring configure and then you've got your fairy ring right here or you could just use the spirit tree and get to anywhere you need in the game right there and then obviously the portal nexus uh, is, is the farthest run but i don't use that as often only for things like getting to a slayer task which is only required once every 30 minutes or whatever right i've got all of the teleports that i need in here so i've got Corand, lumbridge falador Ardy, varrock grand exchange camelot sears village weiss west um Troll Stronghold, Harmony, Catherby, Witch Tower, Yanel, Barrows. I could obviously add a lot more if I wanted to, but these are all I need for my farming runs and pretty much for getting around the game for Slayer or whatever that might be. Also in this room, I've got the Mounted Xerix Talisman, which I have it on this side so that right from the portal, it's closer to me to get to the Dig Site Pendant or here. This is very useful for doing Birdhouse runs. This could be very useful for Slayer tasks or Clue Scrolls. And those are the rooms I honestly use the most. Other than that, I have the study down here where I can make, I have it the fully upgraded one so I can make all of the teleport tablets in the game. Very useful for things like bones to peaches or even just enchanting spells, home teleports. If you want to take that, say you don't have 99 construction or whatever, um, you could make a bunch of house teleports here. And then here I've got the menagerie where you store all of your pets. I don't have too many pets. I've got the smoke devil, kraken, zalra, chompy chick, the giant squirrel, the rift guardian, young lif, Z small kano, and the hellcat lol. And then in here is where I made the clockworks as well. I actually, something I don't have in my house is where you fix and repair your barrow's armor. I don't use barrow's armor that much, but I should probably add that into the house at this point. Now on the other side of the house here, I've got this room right here where I use the mythical cape teleport. Um, I would just use the one in my bank, but I find it easier honestly to just run into my house and write to the myth skill if I need to. This room right here, I just don't want to delete because it has the KQ head for the, uh, I think it's the elite achieve achievement diary. So I just wanted to keep the room here. It's kind of like a trophy in a way. And then this other room was a room that I used to use all of the time for getting to certain places that I, I don't use too much anymore. And I could just add these into my portal nexus, but uh, I just haven't got around to deleting it yet. Up here is one of my favorite rooms as well, which is very super useful for Iron Man accounts. You can store all of your clue scroll rewards in here and then also you've got the armor case where you could store all of the armor that you get from around the game very useful for like skilling outfits and stuff we have the magical wardrobe which you can store some cool things in here as well nothing crazy i don't have a lot of these filled out but it's good to have the storage save some bank space i have the cape rack here which i actually like to keep my capes in the bank so i actually have none stored in here but I could store them in here if I wanted to. I also have the toy box, which is for the um, holiday event rewards. Don't even have all these, which is kind of funny. Some of the ones that I really like, like the uh, birthday jumper, I just kept in the bank and I wear it from time to time. But And then the fancy dress box is, is for the random events uh, stuff, which I don't have all of them either, which is really funny. I like to say out of sight, out of mind. Here's the rooms I never use. This is the very first uh, room that I ever had where you make the first chairs. These are probably the first little bit of construction XP I ever gained on this account. And it's like one of those sentimental things you don't want to get rid of. To have a butler, you need two bedrooms. So we got the two bedrooms over here. Never use these. And then I had the kitchen where I trained a ton of uh, construction back in the day. The kitchen's really good because you can tr make oak larders, get a decent amount of construction XP. I also have these shelves here, which I can make a plus three, is it? Construction boost, so that was very useful. It might even be plus four, plus five, I'm not sure. Also, in this room right here, we've got the quest list. It's not something you need to add. I just think it's kind of cool that you have all your quests, like up here oh i didn't finish a lot of the mini quests but yeah and then we also have the jars in here which you can swap them out for the ones that you have um i've got the hydra one and is, is that it i i think that's it yeah instruction is one crazy grind no matter what type of account you're playing especially being an iron man i can't even imagine on an ultimate iron man but it is definitely worth it it is the skill that i probably use most to this day still once you have it all set up 
there's no more maintenance with it unlike other skills like farming once you have it all set up to the way you want you can just use it get so many useful teleports around the game it's just so useful like it's the most utility skill i honestly think that we have in the game and Pre-EOC, construction was pretty worthless, it was more of just like a money sink, but with all of the updates that they've made to how good construction can be, very well worth your time spending all of the money, even if you're an early game, spending all the money you can to level up this skill, it will help you in the long run so much. And whenever I'm at bosses, every three, four kills, go right to the house, rejuvenate, get right back into the grind, go right back to the bank and back to the boss. Well, thank you guys so much for watching my updated POH layout. I made one a few years back, but I wanted to make an updated version now that I have a maxed account and just to show you guys how useful construction is and you should really spend all the time you can getting that maxed POH. You don't need 99 like I said. I think at level 84 you can boost and get everything that you pretty much need to have a maxed house and it's the most useful thing in the game. I love it. It is like my pride and joy just going into my house every single time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you went ahead and watched the whole video, comment POH down in the comments below. Thank you guys, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.